Whitmore Show. Live from Idaho. Every Sunday at 8. Yo, kids, don't be late. Okay, so I skipped the segment. This was supposed to go with the news. Um, some more apocalyptic news. You know if you watch the Colt Whitmore Show each and every week, we talk about up-and-coming things that have happened. Um, or apocalyptic news that we think may happen. Um, I mean, we've covered several different zombie attacks, like the girl in China that got attacked by a bus driver. There was a guy that ate his dog. Um, there was a guy that went over to his neighbor's house and attacked him, bit his cheek. There's been countless zombie attacks, and there's there's quite a few rumors as to why this is happening. One of these rumors is human rabies or mutated airborne rabies. Basically, it's it's rabies, but it's been mutated in the sense that it attacks your brain and makes you hungry for flesh. I don't know how it works. I just know it attacks your nervous system, makes you crave flesh, and it gives you the behavior of an animal. You know what a rabid da dog is like. You don't want to touch it. Same with a rabid squirrel. Definitely don't want to touch that. So, I know for a fact you don't want to touch a rabid human. Um, it's pretty contagious. It can... Go, it can be in anything from sharks, skunks, monkeys, cats, bats, rabbits, basically any type of mammal. Sharks aren't mammals though, right? No. Basically any type of animal that can carry rabies can carry this type of rabies. And if that's the case, we're all doomed because it's going to spread like wildfire. There's also the Cynthia bacterium. This theory was that Cynthia was engineered life. So basically it was um, dead and then with this oil it reanimates the body. Um, it's basically how this came about was rainwater was mixing with these toxins in garbage landfills and biochemical sites, stuff like that, and the rainwater washed into our water, people started drinking it, and boom, zombies came about that. I don't know too much about that, but I'm pretty sure if it is contagious, it's more airborne than in liquid or solid or stuff like that. There's some combo zombie virus slash bacteria. Again, this is just virus uh, slash bacteria that was produced by humans, um, such as the Z9... Should, should have remembered this name, but it's a it's a virus that was made by humans, injected by humans, just like every zombie movie you've ever seen. It's been created by humans. The virus escapes, and off goes the zombie apocalypse into zombie hordes, and we're all toast. I'm um, pretty sure that's what happened in 28 weeks later when they worked on monkeys, and also happened in Resident Evil with the Umbrella, Umbrella Corporation working on stuff that they shouldn't be. Drug-induced psychosis, this is people such as the bath salts, um, things that are external of the body that people take and affect their nervous system. Um, bath salts, I guess, raise the temperature of the body. That's why most of these people are naked when they find them. It's pretty interesting, interesting stuff. I mean, it goes all the way to mad cow disease. Mad cow disease apparently is a new zombie apocalyptic uh, what's the word? Gene. It's a gene that gets passed around. It's contagious. Basically, we're all toast. The zombie apocalypse is happening. It's happening all around us. Um, there was one last thing, and it was me over exposure of the media, um, which is true. I mean, it's zombies have been all over the news lately, and it just creates more hat more mischief because people are like, oh, it's on the news, it's already happened, now I can create something. <clears throat> um, we do have the Skype phone call. We're going to call them back real quick, and maybe they have something to tell us about the zombie apocalypse. Soon, we have an amazing beatboxer. Again, stay tuned. If you're tuning into the Cold Whitmore Show right now, stay tuned because you're going to see me get my butt kicked by an awesome beatboxer. We have, Yo, yeah, who's this? Where are you calling from? This is Tristan. Tristan! What's cracking, my man? Oh, not much, man. You? Uh, doing this little thing called the Colt Whitmore Show. It's live from Idaho, in case you didn't know, which I know you know, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> How's Burley, Idaho, my man? 
What? How's Burley, Idaho? It's really good. We had beautiful weather today. One more time. You had beautiful weather? Yeah. Was it like 92 degrees where you live as well? Yeah, it was in the 90s. It was gorgeous. It was blistering hot where we live today. I had to open my garage door all day because it was like a sauna. Oh, man, I bet. I, I dropped five pounds just sitting here. Got my workout for the day. <laughs> Dang. Right? So uh, I have a question for you. What do you think of this awesome, sexy uh, stay camp shirt? What's up? Oh, that's really cool. Right? Big shout out to Bart Miller for hooking that up. Um, and big shout out to Stickham for making such an awesome shirt. In case anyone's wondering what a lurker is, it's someone that watches your show that's not logged into an account to, to interact with the chat. So if you're watching outside of the chat, you're a lurker. So all you lurkers out there, jump in the chat. Be a part of the show. So Tristan, yeah. what, what, yep. what do you think about the zombie apocalypse? And are you prepared? I can also say that I am really excited for it. Right, have you been getting your practice on with Call of Duty, Nazi zombies and stuff? What? Have you have you been getting your practice on, blasting some Nazi zombies and some Call of Duty? Oh, definitely. The thing Left 4 Dead, Black Ops, Dude, everything. Left 4 Dead. Okay, what's that new one that just came out? It's like Resort or something? Island? Dead Island. Have you played that? I think... I haven't played it yet, but I heard it's off the chain. I guess it's like a sequel to Dead Rising. Oh, it's its own game. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. Yeah. I thought I was talking intelligently, but you know how I talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, hey, Tristan, I yeah. I think I've already asked you, but did you go to Warp Tour this year? Yeah, I went to Warp Tour. That's right, and we talked about it. It's been a full year since I met you at the previous Warp Tour, huh? Yep. And you're still an avid fan, and you still tune in almost every week. Yes, it's sir. Because you, busy, sir, are a B-A-M-F. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Well, um, I got a massive shout-out for you. I appreci appreciate you calling in and, of course, showing so much love for the Colt Whitmore Show. Hey, have you texted Colt Whitmore to 25827 yet? I was thinking, I was thinking about doing that, but I forgot to. Word. Well, next time you're near your phone, go ahead and uh, text Colt Whitmore to 25827, and you'll get a special treat. All right. I'll do that. All right, dude. Much love to you. Thanks for tuning in. And Tristan, that award show is coming up, so I hope you're ready to give a speech. What? I said that award show for the Colt Whitmore show is coming up at the end of the summer, so I hope you have a, a speech prepared. Oh, yeah, I'll start preparing a speech. <laughs> Heck, yeah, dude. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Stay tuned because Jeff Kin is going to be some – excuse me. Jeff Kin is going to be throwing down some beats with his mouth. Perfect. All right, thanks, <laughs> All right, bro. You have a great night. Thanks for calling in. Or peace. Take care. Everyone, Tristan from Burley, Idaho. Big, massive shout-out to him. Love that kid. He shows so much love for the show each and every week. Mr. Tanner Cox, we will hit you up in just a moment.